as a, as a new season and uh, had, to, had to look forward. You have to. Yeah, I mean, what's done is done. And, and uh, we have 23 wins, 11 in conference, but, you know, those things don't matter. Is there a different feeling to it, knowing you won't be going to New York and yeah. the Square Garden? And yeah, there is. But, again, I, I said earlier, there's kind of the, uh, the newness, the excitement of it, and, and you know, the, everybody's talked about it. We've talked about the tournament and, and, you know, places it should be held and different things. This is the, you know, this, this is the ACC tournament, the history and the tradition. Greensboro, obviously, it's not a place that we'll, uh, we know, but I know it's 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 been an event. It's been there. Uh, it's been a success there for years. They do a great job. It's a great facility. It's a great town, a great city that takes great pride in it, and the history of it is is uh, uh, is is really unma unmatched. I mean, I, I don't know how long the tournament's been going, but it has had it has a history to it, and uh, and uh, people uh, respect it. Great uh, deal of uh, uh, importance uh, put to it because of the, because of the history of the teams, and I think it's only going to continue to grow with the, with the growth of the conference and the, and the teams and the region uh, expanding and uh, almost uh, throughout the country uh, and the entire eastern part of the country. So there's there's a there's an excitement as it grows. There's an excitement because of the newness, and I think there's an excitement because of. Uh, us uh, going into it and, and, and like I said, playing uh, uh, good basketball offensively with the, with the, the shooting the ball well and, and going in with a uh, healthy uh, uh, Lamar Patterson and, and uh, as we go forward. You've uh, gotten used to going to Madison Square Garden mm -hmm. and seeing a sea of orange and knowing yeah. that it was kind of a Syracuse home court advantage in some ways. Uh, you're going down Tobacco Road now and being on the same side of the branch as potentially Wake Forest, North Carolina, and I think NC State. Um, what's it like just kind of knowing that you're in their backyard? And, and does that, do you feel like that gives them a little bit of an inherent advantage because of it? Well, they've made it very clear that it wasn't an advantage. Uh, Coach Beheim has said that <laughs> in numerous meetings with a straight face. And, and uh, uh, I haven't seen the, uh, the, the North Carolina guy team say it as well, but uh, they, they, they've assured me that there's no advantage uh, going forward. And uh, we, look for, we look towards the, the opportunity of, uh, uh, of uh, a balanced and, and uh, fair uh, crowd game and uh, environment, so uh, it is what it is. You know, I mean, it's uh, you know, as, as I said when uh, they were talking about different places and they're, they're talking about different things. I said, hey, if the event was if the, if the tournament was here in Pittsburgh, we wouldn't want it to go somewhere else either. So I have, I have no problem with that. I completely understand it, and we're all uh, fighting to get uh, every every opportunity, every advantage that we can. Do you feel like you could? some fans while you do it like you did in Madison Square Garden. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, you know, that was when we were the underdogs, you know. I mean, I think that was, a, you know, I don't, as, a, as the fifth seed, I don't know if it, and, and it's our, in our history now, I don't think you can, I think that's, uh, I think that's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. But I think that was always the, the initial thing. We were the underdogs. We were the lower seed that uh, advanced, and, and uh, uh, the, uh, obviously that, would, that made it uh, different. But, um it's different, you know. I know the seating's different. I don't know if you guys are aware of the seating. They they, they have uh, sections, whereas the Big East they, they didn't have sections. They had everybody spread out, and so uh, I think there's a different setting towards that. Um, I think it's a bigger facility, uh, from my understanding, and uh, so we're looking, you know, we're looking forward to uh, uh, something different. But uh, obviously, it's it's a great great uh, event, and uh, like I said, I think the ACC and the Big East tournament is always. Had always separated themselves and uh, took great pride in that being their championship. Jamie, do you allow yourself to be a pro, you know, prognosticator, knowing that you have one of the two teams, and obviously you're not going to mm. choose which one you'd rather? No, play? I, we've never done that, and and uh, look at them both as as a, uh, a team that can play equally. Uh, so we don't spend any more time on one than the other going forward. Obviously, we have a system that's re uh, responsible for each team, uh, Notre Dame and, and Wake Forest. So. I just uh, I don't want to be leaning one way and then become the other team. And uh, you know we ha we do have some time to prepare, and uh, you know when you have a shorter time, uh, it happens so quick. And it's not really the, the, the time that you put into it, but the, the, the uh, thought or emotions that may you know, if you get somebody else you know, maybe, oh, no, not them or so. Or, or that, that doesn't want to be the, the thought process. I believe so. Go on open mind, and we're going to play the team that we're that, that, that moves on, and we, we, we need to play well. Jamie, when you have that, do you do one day on one team and one day on another, or do you kind of mix it Different each, things? depending on the days, obviously, and, and what you have, and this is a little a different situation, but uh, we're going to do uh, uh, combine both days in the next going forward. We didn't do anything that you know, just uh, uh, missed us early when we were talking about that, but um, we want to we do a little bit of each uh, on both. Uh, 
probably, you know, we're more familiar with Notre Dame because we played them recently. Wake Forest, we played them earlier in the year. That was our third game of conference play. So we'll, we'll get we'll get some of their, their, uh, their stuff in. You expecting a crazy tournament with all the crazy games in the ACC this year? Yeah. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I I've said that, and, and uh, I'm sure uh, – I said the last time, I mean, uh, uh, we got together, I said uh, there's been so many close games in conference, and obviously ours, but, uh, you know, I, I went through the scores this past week, and, and if you looked at them, there was only one game where it was a blowout, and I said that on Saturday, and then they had that, you know, blowout at Maryland versus, uh, Maryland versus Virginia, which was an overtime game that uh, uh, went down there. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just, it seems like there's been more close games. Would that lead to a, a lot of things? I think you know, you're going to have it. You're going to have close games, and, and it's going to be great, a great, uh, great for TV, great for the fans, and, and uh, great for uh, the conference going forward. Part of the charm of the Big East tournament was that it went to the same place every single year. So, yeah. you know, as an event, everyone right. looked forward to that. Right. So why is there such a push to move this tournament around? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> um, I think times change. I mean, I think, you know, when you're in New York City, I don't know where, where, where your next move is, so that's probably why that wasn't talked about. Um, and then, obviously, uh, being two, two different th different things, larger, uh, um, uh, a large, I think, I think uh, there was a concern, I think, in the ACC, and, and I think they solved it with their expansion that they had become too regional. I think that was, uh, you know, one of their concerns. And so, uh, um, for obvious reasons, that's been talked about. And they've already made that decision, I think, by going, and, and, and they're obviously looking into other things. So they, they, they're, they're, they're exploring and, and talking, and, and uh, I think any talk is good. Whenever you're talking about your conference tournament and national media is uh, discussing that and talking about it, that's a good thing. So if it's uh, only done for that reason, then they, they've uh, sucked a few people in. You've got a pretty cool ACC Hall of Champions down there. Do you think yeah. you or the conference will schedule a tour for that? Uh, not too aware of that. I mean, uh, given that we won't see too many pit people in that uh, that Hall of Champions. Right they, actually, they have a pit section. There, so <laughs> so uh, I think uh, we're going to have to, uh, I think, look forward more than in the past here for us and, and as we go, uh, uh, as we move on here. Anything else?